now available in Farm Command Center is the ability for users to visualize zone maps and soil test results in the agronomy filter of Farm Command Center. First, using the zone maps tab, I can turn on and make visual zone maps by type for fertility, seed, soil amendment, and crop protection. Selecting my option, it pulls those zone maps up onto the map. Also under the soil test results, I can view macro and micronutrients or soil quality, CEC, and base saturation. So selecting soil quality and CEC, I can see values such as pH, EC, organic matter, clay, sand, and silt if they are available. Anytime I click on a map icon, I'm able to see the results based off of either subfield or the entire field per zone. So looking at this field here, we can see there are seven zones. Because we are selecting pH, we can see the pH level and the color legend on the right hand side. Selecting macro and micronutrients, I have available NPKS and a variety of other nutrients here at the bottom. Selecting the N variety, I can click on the map, see those results of nitrogen and residuals per zone, looking at a pounds per acre or whatever settings uh, you need to select there. As I zoom in and I take a closer look, this is a nice visual of understanding what nutrients are available or left over in the soil as a residual from the past season. A quick indication of what production zones I may have higher residual than on what I had planned based off of my fertility recommendations and a good way to visualize a better plan moving forward to make sure that we are using as much residual or having the set residual that we hope to after the harvest season. We can select different nutrients by clicking on the nutrients at the bottom. So for example, if I want to look at phosphorus, I'd be able to see my phosphorus results. But if I'm in a region where I need to adjust what value I'm, I'm using for phosphorus, I can hit the gear icon on the right hand side and select a different value at the top. I'm also able to adjust the min and max of the legend values. If I wanted to adjust my max, I could reduce it down to 50, let's say, and I can also adjust my color just by selecting the color and whether it's flipping the colors or just changing my max to a different, I could do so and hit submit and that change would be showing accordingly. So I think there's a lot of good use cases when we discuss viewing soil test results on a map perspective versus the traditional way of doing so with a PDF and seeing the list of different production zones. So if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out.